What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was an arranged matchup versus North Remembers and it was a doozy, that's for sure. So I am here uh, with DWS, Invicta's War General. How's it going, man? Hey, what's going on, bro? Thanks for having me again. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, love doing these. Uh, love having you on, I should say, when uh, for these arranged war recaps, just because it's really nice to get the war general's perspective of what you know what the mentality of Invicta was going into it. Um, so, why don't you just run us through? Uh, you know, what was the plan from the leadership and uh, and your your side of things? Yeah, yeah, man. Um, so, th as you said, this was an arranged war. So uh, we've known about this for the past couple weeks. Um, so we knew you know a long time ago that we had to be on our a game for this we you know our bases had to be on point uh our attacks had to be on point uh so i mean there was only a 25 man war on this one so we didn't have a lot of bases uh and that played particularly in a factor uh when it came to how many how many people we wanted to uh keep behind for cleanup duty uh where you know, five to five to seven would have been ideal for us if we had uh, you know, a, a larger war map here, uh, but we decided to stick with with five people on cleanup duty. Uh, pretty much five of our best three-star attackers that we have, whether it be you know first-time attackers or cleanup attackers. Uh, but we knew we would need our best attackers in the back uh, to you know to help with the cleanup duty. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, North members bring some serious base designs to the table. That's for sure. So. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely, they got a lot of knowledge, they got a lot of wisdom over there, so, yep. uh, you know, and, and that was only half of the battle over there. The other half, uh, we got one of our, our top base gurus, um, you know, they, they jumped on a, a, a team speak session with us, and he just went through, and, you know, he plowed through about uh, 15, 20 bases, and uh, it, that was the other thing. The more bases we can prevent them from three, you know, that might have given us the other hand, but... Yeah, uh, I, I definitely think Invicta as a whole really stepped up their base designs for uh, oh, yeah. for this match. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, we had some really good holds for sure. <laughs> I think we I think we gave them some surprises as well. So um, that's I'd, good. I'd like to think so. Uh, I'm gonna hop over to the war screen and just check what uh, what the score was. So it was 70, 71 to sixty six, right? Obviously, you know we fell short, um, yeah. but I think as as an overall we were we were happy with some of the successes for sure in, in, in the, in the war here. Right. Yeah. Um, so. just quickly scroll through the, uh, another point that you made, it was a smaller war. It was a 25 man war, um, yep. which, which usually it's a little bit larger for these arranged wars. So that does, that does leave less room for error, right? You don't have that extra oh, yeah. cleanup attacker or two, right. That, it, that you can rely on, uh, getting three stars at the end of the war, which is really, really when it, when it comes to, comes to counting. Right. Oh yeah. Um, so they tutored our, our four, it was, uh, um, sorry, we had 21 nines and four tens, uh, versus each other. So the four tens all got tutored and then all of our nines got three. So, you know, North members did their job. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, we tutored all the tens and we missed, uh, whatever the score difference was, right? Five, uh, three stars on the nines. So, uh, obviously yeah. we, we fell short, you know, we had a couple really close ones, uh, 95%, um, on one of them. Uh, what were the other ones there? 83 MK had 81. So, I mean, th not super close, but definitely uh, some some minor tweaks on some things. And those bases normally would get cleaned up for us. So, yeah, tough war though. Uh, hats off to North members. Uh, those guys are definitely all beast attackers over there. Uh, they brought some great attacks and some great base designs. So, not much more you can really say about that. Yeah, yeah. Those those guys definitely brought the heat. So. You know, you know, props to them. You know, great job, fellas. If you guys are watching, great job. Absolutely. Uh, so let's just jump into some of the replays here. Uh, like I said, we got some really, really good replays to show. Uh, wanted to start with Adam five on five hitting their top town hall nine. So jumping into that replay now. Uh, Adam brings a shattered um, Govaho. And the key point to make is it's 11 Vaz. It's 11 Valks going in here. That's that's pretty crazy. But what I noticed is these two very long, almost runway-like compartments. Um, yeah. Adam opens it from that top corner, and he basically gets access to that whole section with one jump now down and jumps right into the queen compartment from there. So I really yeah. like this read on this base because he, he realized as long as that CC, he probably, sorry, I, I'm assuming he maybe knew it was a hound. So he sends in those Valks pretty early. 
Um, yeah, he, he was actually one of our cleanup guys. This so, is a beast attacker yeah, right here. Yeah, Adam, uh, absolutely uh, fantastic job you're doing in Victor here, man. You're uh, you're definitely definitely in the top town all night. That's for sure. You bring attacks like these constantly. Um, really nice to see so now that these two runway compartments are cleared up sends a couple hogs in to help keep the valks pushing upwards into the queen chamber but he's got so many of them at this point it really doesn't matter that queen's been locked onto that hound forever so ends up finally popping here in one second but i like how he's patient with it he's not trying to rage it he's just letting the hound go you know go to town on, on the golem he's on the not golems. really doing anything yeah, it wasn't doing anything at all. And now that the pups yeah. are out, everything is contained, right? He's got, it doesn't have a lot that shoots air in there, but his queen just cleans everything up, drops the poison, helps out a little yeah. bit, right? And now he's just got a hogs rolling through this base, and there's no serious threat. There's, you know, a cannon, air defense, now a wizard tower left to go. And it's uh, clean up. He's got to clean up wizards down nice and early on that bottom section. Still has so many Valks alive. Adam, you yeah. just crushed this base. We'll fast forward if... this. I don't know don't if know. you noticed that, but he actually, he had his entire, both his heroes all the way across the other side of the base in the queen compartment until he finally raised his king. I mean, yeah. the king was still at full health too when he raised him. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it, all mean, those Valks just, just gave them so much it. tanking. Yeah, he just crushed it. Babe. Nice job, Adam. Uh, so moving down to Kriya's attack here on number seven. Going to hop into that replay now. Kriya really impressed us with this one. Kriya brings the, goes back to the old school Max Pekka in the CC, and I think it really worked out well for him here. Yeah, so, that was a, I was I was really happy when I saw that. <laughs> yeah, just, it just back old. great idea. Yeah. Uh, so let's yeah. the two golems in here. Really, just gets a little nice patience on his king in that Pekka. Uh, about to drop that Pekka though in two seconds. He just wanted that army camp to go down. So great, great patience on that. Pekka's gonna go down any second here. Wow, it's even more delayed than I thought. There, there we is. go. Pekka, Giant, and King are now in. Really, he, I think he brought the Pekka because he wants to make sure these two air defense go down. So he has, because yeah. he wants those back end loons to be to get value, right? So Pekka moves in, helps out with that king. The Teslas are going are getting tanked by the golems, which is perfect. That Pekka, I think, lasts straight to the end of the raid, to be yeah, honest. It does. Yeah. Uh, so everything's now taking that jump. He sends a few hogs in on that crossbow. He might have been a little more beneficial to wait a touch till the stuff was in that core there, tanking that stuff for the hogs. But it works yeah. out fine because they take down the crossbow here. There's one more air defense going down that he's. Uh, that he's going to take out with these hogs right now. So that's great. That peck is still in there doing work. King's still in there. They're about to go lock onto that defensive queen. Down she goes in a few hits. Yeah, one hit from that peck just destroys yeah. that queen. Sends in the rest of his hogs. That all the air defense are down. He's got these balloons moving in at all sections of the base. Like, really crush this base, Korea. Absolutely fantastic job. You did a great job on it. Mortar goes down. Wizard Tower is the last defense remaining. It's clean up. Sexy. Look at that Pekka. Still going to town. <laughs> Take down that town hall. Works on the this. lone wizard up top. Working yeah, great. The, the storage is... Something I can't stress more, more and I, I'm trying to really do this in my raids. I've said this before, is as soon as you drop your hogs or whatever is going in and, and you're going to get tanky on those defenses that are going to go down quickly, you have to drop a cleanup wizard behind that. It, it just, oh, yeah. It, it saves rates. It's yeah. uncanny. I had a fail a couple wars ago in a perfect Lalo. I just crushed the base, but I accidentally dropped my two cleanup balloons, or even one cleanup balloon would have done it, um, where I didn't need to, and it, it ends up being like a 98 or 99 percent because you just your balloons don't get back over there, right? So cleanup is a huge piece to three stars, guys. It's, I can't stress this. You got to more work than the clock. Yeah. Um, all right. So who do we have next here? We had number 13. Uh, yes, this was uh, this is actually one of our new uprising uh, attackers from from One Hive Swarm, mm -hmm. uh, Chief Lalo. He's, he's been killing it, Chief Absolutely. Lalo. At it. He's been killing these Lalo attack. I have been really trying to edify these Swarm guys because I was saying to you earlier when we were just chatting, um, Invicta has been super extremely revitalized with all these new Swarm recruits and how well they're doing, and they're just so active in chat and in line and helping plan like it, it's really nice to see to see these guys come out from uh from our sister clan swarm so um just just absolutely uh absolutely killing it for us let's hop in and check out lalo's attack now 
So he brings he brings a cold blooded Lalo here, and this is a pretty nice anti three star base. You know, like these North Remember guys know what they're doing. So the fact that he can bring a cold blooded Lalo here and be successful was was really cool to me because I'm scared when I'm I just for some reason I never think one golem is going to do the job for me. And yeah, uh, Lalo just kills it. He knows it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. He knows his Lalos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so rage is down queen's been standing that rage the whole time just really they rip apart that whole queen compartment in a matter of seconds now one thing we did notice about the north remembers group is they use a lot of golems in their ccs and it screwed yeah. up a few of our raids uh first hand well, did a good job handling this one though uh i think this was a cleanup um, yeah so he knew it was in there but i mean it, and, it, and it was smart because the the golem isn't going to do anything against a lava attack. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to stand there, not knowing what to do. No, uh, even even if his heroes did, excuse me, if his heroes did not aggro the CC and draw it out, it, he wouldn't care. That that because yeah. it would have just stayed in the clan castle for the rest of the raid. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, great job, man. Uh, really, like if you ever see a golem and you're on a cleanup, you don't even have to worry about it. The only thing you need to worry about is if it's going to get in the way of your heroes getting to like the defensive yep. queen or getting to the yeah. air defense. So that's the only time because it all it is is a time killer, right? It wants your heroes to lock onto it and take them whatever it takes to to kill it before they can continue killing anything else. It's kind of like a lava hound, but a lava hound, a hound has a two pronged effect, right? Because when it bursts, you got to worry about the pups too. But um, having a golem or two in, in some random CCs uh, in the right bases can can make a difference in a raid, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's cleanup, as you can see. So sexy attack, Chief. We love having you in Victa. Um, part of this swarm group that's moved up recently and uh, absolutely killing it for us, man. Nice job. Next one, you want to look at 20? Yeah, number 20 sounds good. Who is that? Oh, wait. Was it 20? No, it wasn't. Those are both Lalo's attacks. <laughs> uh, it was 24, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. There we go. We did have 20 written down, so I don't know why I did that. Whoops. All right, so Namnok is another swarm guy who's just been awesome for us, right? Like, look at his he army comp here. beast. He's been a beast. First of all, his entry, he drops two balloons on the mortar, gets the uh, two-for-one trade. He drops three balloons down here, two on the arch tower, one on the wizard tower. So he essentially got, for five balloons, he got three defenses, which is great value. Like, absolutely great value. Oh, yeah. So he's going to go and shatter now? Go ahead, sorry. That was, uh, actually, it was a very smart move with the way he planned on unpathing the hogs through here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he, the I, I reason think that was brilliant. You'll see in a moment here. Um, once he kind of gets the jump down and gets his king going to take out this queen, when he sends it and see these two Valks, they literally run right to the queen from the point where he yeah. dropped them. They ran to the into the Tesla and then just turned and went right to the queen, and they yeah. almost killed the queen. Like they got, he has a sliver of health. The king just takes one hit. So guys, too, another point I'd like to make is a couple Valks bolstering your kill squad. When you have a low level king or lower level heroes. It can really make a difference if you really need to get the make a stretch or you want to make sure you get that queen add a couple of valks but like oh, we yeah. were like we were also saying a second ago the reason he dropped those balloons ahead of time is specifically in that kind of like 6 30 7 o'clock compartment it keeps the hogs moving in a straight line straight across the base right they don't they don't yep. uh, diverge off track to go down there um the yep. tesla pops so it kind of pulls them down a bit but that's it and then they head right back up to that airdy and he can he has one more heal now that's going to go down Boom, heal them from that. Oh, no, the bomb got some of the hogs. Oh, it was a DG. No, it wasn't a DGB. It was a single. But he, he, he's really patient on that last heal. It, he doesn't even yeah. really need it at that point because there's the one archer tower. He's got his queen full health with the ability. He's got wizards already doing cleanup around the base. Nice job. Like, <laughs> Namnok, just killing yeah. it for us. But very patient. But just He took his time on this. You know, he, he didn't overreact when, when that group of hogs got taken out. Yep. Uh, he just carried the motion through. Uh, he, he knew his kill squad was still safe. He had both his heroes up. So uh, yeah, I mean, he didn't panic. He kept it cool. If you look for cleanup, he only has four hogs. Uh, and the, the other cool thing about the four hogs is every single one of them is on a different building. <laughs> How often <laughs> yeah. does that happen? Almost right? never. Almost never. So those, here's, those things like to pile up and go against yeah. the complete opposite side. You need them. They're going to meet up here for the rest of the cleanup, but uh, that's it. Namnuck. Nice job, man. Sexy. Down, bro. All right. So 
you know, tough war overall here um, against Clan Lake North members. You know, they uh, they've been in the the fair play war game for quite a while, and uh, you know, we're still. I think uh, you can still count the amount of arranged matches Invictus had on uh, two hands, right? So, yeah. <laughs> You know, we're learning, we're getting better, and uh, overall, I think we were fairly happy with our performance, even though we didn't get the victory, and it was still, you know, a five-star deficit. We would have liked to have cleaned up those nines, but, um, you know, we saw some great planning, some great teamwork. Uh, oh, it's yeah. just it's just a matter of time before things really start gelling with, with these newer recruits we have and uh, taking some of the losses we've had, whether it's been guys moving on just with life or guys getting promoted to 2.0, right? Like I've said it in many videos, Invicta is right in the middle, right? So they get it from both ends. They get constantly losing guys um, and they're, they're constantly, you know, training and recruiting uh, new guys from Swarm. And um, it takes a while to, to get that synergy, I, I like to say, with uh, with your core member of, of, of attackers, right? So Yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. Uh, thanks for coming out, DWS. Really, uh, really appreciate uh, doing these recaps with you. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, you know what? Um, really, I, I think for every arranged war, uh, we should try and do these, uh, or even just even just the big ones when we get those random matchups too against uh, against those tough clans. I absolutely love having your perspective on things. Um, really, uh, I think the public appreciates it as, as well too. Plus, you're killing it with that Hog Rider series too. So hopefully, some of those guys are watching and uh, <clears throat> you uh, can just continue uh, continue on through that because that's uh, that's a challenge in itself for sure. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Um, but until uh, until next time, guys, that should do it uh, for your wisdom from Wiser here. Just trying to help you guys bag that next three-star. Until then, I'm out.